video that I, it took a, a little while to get here, but we're here today. I'm filming a pageant Q&A and I'm going to be answering all the questions that you guys have been asking me. Um, I did an Instagram Q&A and then some DMs and stuff like that. People reached out and they had questions. So let's get into it. First, I want to start off by saying, so a little backstory. The first time I ever competed in a pageant was in 2021, and I competed at Miss Ohio USA. People always ask me all the time, how did you get into pageants? Well, I feel like every girl starts watching like toddlers and tiaras when you're, you're really young. Um, and I used to like see on TV like, oh my God, like in hindsight, it, it doesn't look fun at all. But when I was younger, I used to be like, oh my God, dad, I want to do that. I want to do that. And he was like, no. And then um, I discovered Miss USA and Miss Universe. And so when I was like seven or eight years old, I watched like Miss USA and Miss Universe every single year. And then once I got to high school, I had an older cousin. She's about five years older than me. She lived in Maryland. And she was like, oh, I'm going to do Miss Maryland. You should do Miss Ohio Teen. And um, I was like, what? Like, these are real people. Like, that's when it like clicked for me. Like, the, this isn't just TV these are real women and real girls competing in these pageants and so I did that and I applied to Miss Ohio teen about like three times or four times maybe and I got accepted every time but I just left it at that like I was too scared to try and then when I got to college I tried um, I applied for Miss Ohio USA and I got accepted and then the first year I was getting ready I was like prepping I was still scared but I um, I was like looking for a pageant coach. I found a coach. I was preparing, and then kid you not, my luck would have it. I went home for break because it was my freshman year of college, and something happened. And I literally my the room that I had, it had stairs in it, like to go downstairs, and I tripped down the stairs, and I broke my ankle, like three weeks before the pageant, and it was like, it was so terrible, and like. I couldn't put any pressure on it and I was like trying to crutch across campus it was like it was like a it was a whole big ordeal it's like I can't do this and so this was 2019 um so I pushed it off and I was like okay I'll just do next year's pageant but then there was COVID and then there you know so they didn't have a pageant for a little over a year I think I'm not entirely sure the timeline and so when it was 2021 I was like okay the time is here your girl your girl is here okay so um i did miss ohio usa in 2021 for the first time after years of stalling and i completely fell in love and it was amazing and i was like wow uh so i competed in 2021 and the rest is history so that is a little backstory on how i started competing so now let's get into the questions and i got my phone right here so oh so what is your favorite part of prep my favorite part of prep i think i just love preparation for me preparation for like the pageant is just so fun but if i had to choose one thing getting like your body like swimsuit ready and i know that's what people dread but like working out just makes you feel so good so i like to work out i like to like see I just like to feel good and like I, I'm working towards something so I think maybe like working out getting ready because I love Pilates too that's like my main it doesn't work for everyone it just well I won't say it doesn't work for everyone it depends on what kind of goals you reach like Pilates might not, not help you like get like super lean or whatever it just depending on your body type but I go hard on Pilates when I'm getting ready for Miss Ohio USA next question best interview advice for prep and actual interview i would say no you have to know yourself for one um and for two just like some things like things that you can do i use the apple news app and i'll just see like what is happening or like world news or something just keep up to date like don't fatigue yourself obviously but just like know what's going on around you and know how you feel about it like the judges aren't looking for like a right or a wrong answer they're saying if you can give your opinion if you can articulate it well and please do not offend anyone in the process you can state your opinion do not offend anyone so that's the biggest thing so using using the apple news app has helped me and obviously an interview coach what was the it factor you searched for in your gown the gown i wore in 2023 
I wanted something that had sparkle because the gown that I wore the last two years did not have really any sparkle because I love sparkles. Um, I wanted that rhinestone, but also I wanted something that was like classy, elegant, something that was like, you know, uh, you know, that just really like fit my personality. And um, I, I think this gown like really captured it. Like I feel like it went well with my hair. I love the rhinestones. I loved everything and I got my gown from Henry's Cloud 9 in Columbus so if you need help ladies please go there um, so I just wanted I wanted something to reflect my personality that's what I was looking for what changes did you make from last year to this year competing hmm what changes did I make I think I put a little bit more effort into my wardrobe um, I didn't like change much of anything for me it was just like really digging deep getting to know myself more than i had in the past two years just trying to really be confident in myself and um show the judges so i don't think i really made any like large changes i just feel like i grew more into myself than i had the past couple years but that's life that's what's every with everything you know that you do um my favorite part of pageantry i think meeting different women in all different categories but like having that same thing in common like we all love to get dressed up and be pretty and you know like it's to some degree we prioritize fitness and all the things like so we have that in common but then meeting these people with all these different interests and there's doctors and lawyers and journalists and models and everything so i think meeting girls from all different walks of life um like pageant girls are definitely not a monolith and i love that because i've met some girls that are you would think we have so much in common but we don't um which is a great thing i love it what advice would you give someone who is interested in participating in pageants i would say do your research on your system see if it aligns with what you believe um so far the usa system i mean well the usa miss universe organization that that organization just really aligns with who I am also um, there, there are so many different systems to compete and I personally love the USA system um, another thing I would say is just it's a learning experience like even if you don't win and I learned this my very first year because like not winning you you still come away with something you still win something it may not be the title but there's so much to take away from it um so i say soak up every part of the experience make friends um know the system you're going into um, it will truly help you build confidence and if you're still thinking about competing in pageants just don't overthink it just do it because I overthought it for years and years and years and then I finally did it and I was like, oh, I wish I had been doing this forever. So do it first, sign up if you're thinking about it, two, do your research, and three, soak in all of the experience from the entire weekend. Segway, my next question. Favorite memory from the weekend? I think my favorite memory, oh my goodness, watching Carolina get crowned was the cutest thing ever she's a doll this miss ohio teen usa um and kylan is her friend so seeing her friend crown her is just amazing and she deserves it so much so that was a, my favorite thing i watched but also again i always like meeting the girls making new friends and i found some subscribers they were they subscribed to my channel so if you're watching this hey miss cleveland girl follow me on instagram i don't know any of your social media tips for confidence off stage on and off stage um and make sure you get your wearing things that you feel good in that it like reflect your personality that's something that i've been really trying to focus on um because i feel like when you feel good you look good you know and, and vice versa so get clothes and things that reflect your personality 10 out of 10 for sure be, be true to who you are know who you are like the first year i was told to wear my hair um straight and that i looked better that way but that i i love a, a bone straight middle heart you know what i'm saying but i wear my hair curly most of the days so i just feel more confident and if there's any trials and tribulations with my hair if it gets humid or anything 
under the sun i know how to fix that with straight hair like i i straighten my hair maybe once a year so when i had straight hair i was just worried about my hair like the whole weekend so just be true to who you are in every single aspect and um just your clothes your wardrobe your opinions your thoughts just stand for a minute and then that way like if someone asks you a question or something you're like yeah i got this you know uh and that's on and off stage seriously what is one thing you learned this year i think i don't think this is new and strictly for this year but everything happens for a reason uh and you know everything is meant to be everything happens the way it's supposed to happen um and that which brings me back to the other question when i said that um even if you don't win you still come away with so much um so that's just like a reoccurring thing you know i always gain so much after every single time favorite team queen with the emojis um that's really so hard no i'm just kidding it's carolina <laughs> she knows that she asked me that um miss ohio teen usa 2023 miss carolina is the most beautiful girl ever and if you're not following her on instagram go follow her she's beautiful literally inside and out and um like i can't even believe she's only 17 years old amazing and she is the next miss teen usa to me i don't care she is amazing so yes carolina you are my favorite what is your platform mine is um health and wellness um because some of you know i went to school i got my bachelor of science in nutrition um and then outside of diet and things that i advocate for um i really believe in mental health and overall wellness your diet your environment everything contributes to your overall your physical health your mental health and i just really advocate for good life practices healthy balanced diets putting yourself in great environments to flourish you know just so you can increase your quality of life and so i have i've been thinking about that since i started pageants i haven't really been able to narrow down a name for what i advocate for so i just say health and wellness but that's exactly what it is will you compete again ciao um i have gotten this question a lot and right now the answer is no um normally after a pageant i'm like eager i'm like yes i can't wait to start playing for next year but i think the pageant era has come to an end for me um ohio usa competed three times it was amazing um and i always did so well i was top 15 two times first runner up one time and it was amazing i came up with amazing friends and um a learning it was a great learning experience and i gained so much confidence from it but um she was cute but i think it is the end of an era for me personally so yeah okay and the last question is how do you prepare for on stage questions and what on stage question did they ask at your pageant so how i prepare for on stage is i for one hire an interview coach and um so an interview coach will ask you questions why do you want the title um what how do you feel about this issue or this politician or you know they'll throw all the questions i'm not an interview coach but um so i don't have it off the top of my head but they will throw questions at you that you need to be able to answer um and they'll help you with your like your demeanor when you walk into the room and you're talking to the judges so that's my number one thing i always have an interview coach um number two i um uh, like i said before i i keep track of the news but i make sure not to fatigue myself because that can bring you really down mentally if you're constantly looking at things that maybe aren't so positive um but i keep track of the news to see what's going on again how do i feel about this what do I think could be better or is there a critique that I have so that those are two of the biggest things how I prepare for interview and um, just communicating with people talking to people talking in front of this camera helps me I have a um issue which you guys probably notice and so especially during interview time I'm like don't say um don't say um don't say um you know so if you 
like if you have any issues like if you talk a lot with your hands and they can be distracting um, those are some things that can help you so that's how I do on stage and for interview um, and I feel like I feel like I'm decent with it. I'm comfortable with like public speaking I just have an um issue it's so hard uh, there I go uh, and then what on stage questions did they ask at your pageant when I was in top five and they were asking me my auntie's question, I it's so your nerves are like crazy, your your heart's going a thousand miles a minute. So honestly, I cannot remember, but I think it was something about the Constitution. I think the First Amendment. I think it was something about that. I think so. And I answered the question and I said something about the government should. I said something about how the government is responsible for like ensuring the safety of the country and they should have regulations for different things but at the end of the day we don't want to like over at the end of the day we don't want to impose too many instructions to like make the um make our citizens feel like you know feel like they can't do anything or something like that or they can't speak their minds or whatever and we didn't want to be too too strict so that's that's the question. But honestly, I blanked. I can't remember. Everyone said I did good and I got first runner up, whatever answer that I had. So um, I think it was good. But again, I blanked completely out the window. So that was my pageant q and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I actually really like I mean, I may, I may not be competing anymore, but I think I like these pageant videos. So if you have any other suggestions for any other videos you want to see, whether that be pageant related or not, just comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. And I'm so happy that I got to share this experience. If you haven't seen all my pageant videos, I have a pageant playlist. I have my Miss Ohio USA 2022 vlogs um, up on the channel, Miss Ohio USA 2023. Um, when I went to Miss USA as a an audience member and then my watching miss universe is in a vlog as well so all of my pageant vlogs are there and thank you guys for coming back for another video and i will see you next time bye